Breaking news in AFER's Prop 8 case. Now that two separate courts have ruled Proposition 8 unconstitutional, the Prop 8 proponents have exercised their only option left, petitioning the Supreme Court of the United States to review our latest victory. So let's take a look at what that means and what to expect over the next few months. I'm Matt Baum at the American Foundation for Equal Rights, and welcome to a special episode of Marriage News Watch. So what does today's news mean? Here are the important things to know. Prop 8 is still unconstitutional, thanks to a ruling by district court in 2010 and a court of appeals in 2012. But Prop 8 is also still in effect and will remain in effect for at least a few more months. The next big step is up to the Supreme Court. Now that they've received the proponent's petition for a writ of certiorari, the justices will vote on whether or not to take the case. That happens during a private conference in late September. If four or more justices vote to take the case, what's known as granting cert, we'll have a briefing and oral argument during the court's next term. That term starts in October and ends in June, so the ruling could come at any time during that window. In that scenario, we'll have a definite resolution on Prop 8 by June of 2013 at the very latest. But the justices could vote against taking the case, and then the previous Ninth Circuit decision would stand. That would mean that Prop 8 is unconstitutional for good. End of story. In that scenario, the freedom to marry would be promptly restored for all the committed, loving gay and lesbian couples across California. The exact date that marriages could resume is unclear right now, but we'll know the exact date as we move closer to the Supreme Court's conference in September. In the meantime, you can help make the case for the freedom to marry. Visit AFER.org to sign up for alerts on the case and to meet some of the couples who are waiting to wed. And remember to share this video with everyone you know, because the more we talk about marriage equality, the more people we win over to our side. Thanks for watching.